Hi guys, today I want to go through the dot cross diagrams that you expected to know uh, for the Cambridge uh, Physical Science and Chemistry syllabuses. Now the core, if you're taking it only core, in the syllabus it says describe the formation of single covalent bonds in uh, hydrogen, chlorine, water, methane and uh, hydrogen chloride as the sharing of pairs of electrons leading to the noble gas configuration. And if you're doing the extended, you also need to be able to describe the electron arrangement in more complex covalent molecules such as nitrogen, uh, ethene, uh, methanol and carbon dioxide. Okay, let's start off with hydrogen. So a molecule of hydrogen actually is a combination of two hydrogen atoms. Each hydrogen atom has got one electron in its outer shell. And to complete the noble gas configuration, it actually needs two. And to do this, both hydrogens actually share one electron. So in the outer shell of each hydrogen atom, there are actually two electrons. Now chlorine, like hydrogen, also just uh, shares one electron. Each chlorine atom wants one electron in its outer shell. So by sharing one electron, they actually have a combined uh, pair here. So each chlorine atom has eight electrons in its outer shell. Okay, next up we've got water. So water consists of hydrogen, two hydrogen atoms and oxygen. Again, from the previous slides, uh, hydrogen only needs one uh, extra electron in its outer shell and oxygen has got a space for two more. So what happens is one of the hydrogen atoms pairs up here, the other hydrogen atom pairs up here, and then we've got two lone pairs uh, still here on the oxygen atoms. And it kind of looks a little bit like Mickey Mouse. That's how I remember how to draw it, and that's how I explain it to my students. Okay, next up is methane. So methane CH4 has got four hydrogen atoms, and they each want another electron. And we've got carbon here. Carbon's got uh, six electrons, but it's only got four in its outer shell. So each uh, outer shell ele uh, electron wants to have uh, a, ne a next one, a second uh, electron next door to it. And then we'll get a full eight. And to do this, the hydrogens bond here covalently around the carbon. So we've got a pair here, a pair here, a pair here, a pair here. So for each hydrogen, it's got two electrons in its outer shell. Uh, whereas the carbon, if we go all the way around, it's got eight electrons in its outer shell. So they're both in it with the noble gas configuration. Okay, next we've got hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen wants one extra electron in its outer shell, whereas chlorine wants, or also wants one electron in its outer shell. And to bond up together, we end up with uh, this configuration here, where the hydrogen comes along and where there's just the lone electron here, the pair up, uh, hydrogen ends up with a full outer shell, as does chlorine. Now nitrogen has got five electrons in its outer shell. Now, two of those electrons pair up, leaving a space for one, two, three electrons. So when you've got nitrogen as a molecule, you actually have two nitrogen atoms, and they actually form this triple bond here in the middle. So you get three electrons from one side, pairing up with three electrons from this side. Now, ethene has got one, two, three, four hydrogens and two carbons. The carbons share a double bond in the middle here, so there's one, two, three, four electrons here. Uh, and then each hydrogen only has room for one extra electron, so they just pair up like this. So the hydrogens form a single bond around the carbons, and between the carbons is a double bond. Okay, here we've got methanol. Methanol has got one, two, three, four hydrogens, a carbon and an oxygen atom. Now, the carbon uh, bonds with one, two, three of the hydrogens. That's why we've got H3 here. Then there's a bond with the oxygen, and then the oxygen bonds with the hydrogen here. So all of these are single bonds, uh, and then the oxygen has got two lone pairs here. Okay, and then finally we've got CO2. Now carbon wants one, two, three, four extra electrons to go with its four electrons in its outer shell, whereas oxygen only needs uh, two more. So here and here. So the way this works is we get a double bond between the oxygen here and a double bond between the carbon and the oxygen here. And if we go around the carbon, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
So that's uh, satisfied there with a the full outer shell. And the oxygen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's satisfied over here. And also on this side here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, okay, bye for now.